Okay, so last time we left off, we had this Instagram-ish app where we had tabs at the top with images, and at the bottom we had this this nav bar, but we just have image views in this nav bar. And when you click on them, they don't really do anything. But if we look at Instagram, when they actually click on these buttons, they they kind of highlight. So there's there's an action that's happening. So we we need to kind of implement something that's similar. This is okay, but like if, you, if you're clicking on it you can't you can't tell which tab you're on and that's not really a good user experience so what we're gonna do is I will run another version over here and now I have a different version of what I just showed you so now down at the bottom we're actually using a navigation view so it's a it's a navigation view widget it's made specifically for navigation bars and you can see when you click on it it actually gives a little there's a little animation where you where you click on it and it highlights that particular item. By by default, the animation usually actually looks like this, but I don't really like this one. It's kind of weird. It makes the bar look uneven, and yeah, I just don't really like it. And not to mention, it's not it doesn't look like what Instagram does. So I'm gonna show you how to override that default animation. Here, I'll run the app again, so that when you click on it, it doesn't like slide the whole bar over. Okay, so let's get started. So it's going to be relatively simple. The overriding is probably the hardest part. So right, right now, currently in this relative layout in the bottom, we have our, uh, we have an app bar layout, we have a toolbar, and we have a linear layout with a bunch of image views. So this obviously is not the best way to do this. So we're going to, well, it doesn't, it doesn't look as good anyway. I mean, it, it would work, but it doesn't look as good. So let's let's get rid of all this. Let's get rid of the entire app bar, and we're going to create a new widget, and it's going to be called a navigation view. So not navigation uh, menu item view, and make sure not navigation item view. We're going to be using uh, oh sorry yeah bottom sorry bottom navigation view. So not bottom navigation item view, not bottom navigation menu view. Use bottom navigation view. And match parent, match parent because we're inside of our relative layout. And it's already, usually you'd have to set it, like if, if this relative layout wasn't here, you'd have to align it to the bottom by using align parent bottom in here. But because we have it in our relative layout that's already on the bottom of the screen, we don't need to do that. Okay, now we're just gonna add a few things to our navigation. We're gonna give it an ID, because we're gonna have to override it. So we'll go nav view bar. Sure, why not? And then let's set our background just like we were doing before. So was it uh, bottom white gray border bottom? I think that was the right one. Nope, it was white gray border top. There we go. Yeah, now you can see that border down there. Okay, and then we need to we so now to actually put the items into the menu, we're not going to use image views like we did with the toolbar. We're going to actually create a menu. So we can go into our res folder and we can go to new and create a menu, so create a new directory, sorry, call it menu, and then we're gonna go into menu, and we're gonna create a new layout, menu resource file, sorry, and I'm just gonna call it bottom navigation menu. So let's go to the text tab, and now we're just gonna create a menu, just like you would regularly do. So inside of a menu, there's items. So we create an item, and close the tag, and then inside of our item, we're gonna set a couple properties. One of them's gonna be the ID, this one's gonna be, um, I don't have the app open anymore, but, okay, okay. So here we have the arrow. So the arrow is the first one. So I'm just gonna call it uh, IC arrow. And then we just set the icon. So we go, um, it was drawable. Actually, I'm gonna just type arrow. Yeah, so IC arrow black. And then we can go set the title. So we'll just go title. And this one I'll call the back button. So let's, let's call it like, yeah, I just call it back because that way it'll show up as back with the back arrow. That makes sense. And that's it. So we just copy that and we can do that a bunch more times. So I'll do it four more times. And the second one is, well, I guess you don't need to watch me do this. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to just call them, give them an ID and reference them from Drawables. So I'll skip the video ahead. All right, so there we go. We have our arrow. We have our Android guy. We have our books. We have our center focus uh, vector and the cloud backup vector. So now let's go into uh, activity main and now we need to set the menu to this navigation bar. 
So to do that, we just start typing app and then you can see menu pops up. So we can click on menu and reference oops, at menu and there's our bottom navigation menu. So there you go, you can see it's popping up on the bottom. Um, not Sometimes it doesn't show up properly in the preview, so that might actually be okay. So let's, let's run it and just quickly take a look and see what it looks like. It's probably okay. So yeah, sometimes the preview gets messed up when you use um, menus. And the preview is definitely not working properly. So let's take a look back in here. Okay, I see. The this this item tag is wrong when I first yeah, so when I first made that one. Then we just need to get rid of that, close that, and let's rerun it. Now yeah, see now all of them are showing in the menu. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So we have we have our menu and it's working, but um, if you're like me, you, you don't like this this sliding thing that it's doing. So we can actually override that. So let's uh, let's go into. Oh, we need to create a new class actually. We'll create. We're just going to create a helper class and then we're going to reference that class in main activity to uh, disable that sliding animation. So I'm going to say uh, bottom navigation view helper. And I'm not going to take credit for this. I found it on a stack overflow post. So how to remove an icon animation for bottom navigation view in Android. This was actually a post that was referenced from this, or sorry, this post was the referenced from this one, but this guy uh, outlines it very well. So just literally grab this helper class right here and copy it into our project. So just highlight all that and copy it in. There's no errors, so everything works perfectly. After that, we can close the helper class and let's go back to the Stack Overflow post. And all we need to do here is declare this in our activity that's hosting the app bar. So the activity that's hosting the app bar is uh, main activity. So let's go to main activity. And then underneath here, we're just gonna paste that in. Import navigation bar. And we need to reference our name, so bottom, bottom uh, nav view bar. That's it. So now if we run this, the that sliding animation won't be there. So you can see when we click on these, all they do is they highlight and they lift up a little bit, which is what we want. That's what happens on Instagram, and I think that that looks much better. All right, that's gonna be it for this, this video. Our, our app is starting to look more and more of what actual Instagram looks like. We have our bottom nav bar that's doing sort of the same action as Instagram is. And we have our top tabs too that are navigating to different fragments. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.